So the movie started off with all these ships coming in to destroy Konoha and all this stuff. I ain't no Naruto became a battleship. What the hell is going on? Man, they finna have Naruto and Sasuke over there using submarines and shit. What the hell going on? So they come in destroying buildings, knocking rocks down. You can easily murk a kid or somebody. Like, what are y'all doing? This is wrong as hell. And what making me mad is that they doing all this and none of these leaf ninja can hit these flying niggas? Told you if you don't get your big ass up in human boulder in that damn sky. Now I don't blame Neji. Neji over here saving the children. That's fine and everything. And I hope it's they go just to destroy some buildings and shit. Cause this aim is horrible. So Sonari's like, that's a Sky Village. The Sky Village coming back to Rage War on the Hidden Leaf Village. And I'm just like, how y'all getting bodied by some unknown niggas? So Naruto pull up to the scene and I'm wondering why Brain made a hella shadow clones to go hit them sky niggas. Like, what are you doing? So this daughter dude helped heal this dude and he's like, bet, he's breathing again. Naruto, take him back to the hospital. And Naruto's like, bruh, you do it. I gotta go slide on them niggas. And then bro just told Naruto straight up, if you slide on them niggas, you are not gonna win. How do you know that? So everybody in this hospital got injured and Naruto mad. I'll be mad too. And they healing everybody. And I don't know, what's with these movies making these girls dressing like tomboys and looking like niggas? Like, bruh, what is the deal? So the girl ran up on Naruto talking about some where her daughter at, bruh. I know you saw him. And Naruto like, bruh, I don't know what you're talking about. Cause Naruto think this is a boy. He telling Naruto her village needs saving and the daughter said he will help. Then she goes slump in his arms. Like, bruh, how you gonna do all that and go slump? So Naruto talking with the daughter saying, hey, he said he was your apprentice and like you going to his village. And then he says, yeah name is Amaru and his village got attacked by some unknown people and at this moment I'm like why you couldn't tell Naruto this nigga's a girl so Amaru started waking up and Naruto's like hey bruh you alright and she just rocked the fuck out this nigga while all this going on they got Sai putting in overtime by going against the sky ninjas with his birds and shit like he is not the only one with a bird y'all know something juicy so it cut over to Sasuke and them and Orochimaru are dying of old age telling Sasuke he need to bring that daughter to him right now so he get that juicy he has to make him younger and I know Sasuke's sitting there like so what the fuck was open to do? So Naruto them going to Amaru's village and Naruto over there scared of the fishes and snakes and shit out there. And I'm like, bro, you got a whole demon inside you. The fuck you scared for? It's okay. Don't get scared, Naruto. If y'all get messed up, which y'all will, y'all have the best doctors here because y'all look like some weak Hold ninjas on, for real. Who you calling weak for real? Man, we the most bumminess niggas you ever seen. We here to protect y'all weak asses. Y'all can't defend yourselves. You know you capping hard as hell. Y'all know y'all do not throw no hands. All y'all niggas weak. I know you lying. Aruka Sensei, stand on business. Kakachi, stand on business. Even Jiraiya, he stand on business. His perverted ass. So Sakura hit Naruto Aye. side of the head. His outburst was too loud because some Sky Ninja were looking down on them, trying to see what the hell they was at. Naruto went underwater with Amaro to make sure that they do not get seen. So Naruto come back up wondering where Amaro went. We come down, she's trying to find that scalpel. And I'm like, girl, let that shit go. But then we get his back to see how much significance it has. And I'm like, never mind. I see why you went down to do that. So Naruto saved her and her clothes all wet. So when he get into the boat, he's staring at that body. And I don't even blame him. That shit looking pretty nice. So Naruto asked her if she a girl and she said you a dumbass and shit. But then come to find out, Naruto got bit by a poisonous fish. My nigga got poisoned out of nowhere. So she started sucking the poison out of Naruto's leg. And Naruto low see what that mouth doing. And Sakura saying, hey, why you blushing? Naruto, you better explain that shit before they think you gay, nigga. Hey, yo, shout it. So, you know... How your body was with them curves and them titties. You 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 a girl, right? Hey, nah, don't get mad at me. Haku did a number on me. I gotta make sure every time. Yes, nigga, I'm a girl. God, do it look like I'm a nigga? Really? Yeah, kinda. I I wonder if that's how the doctor Shion sees me. Oh, I see. Shawty, you in love with that nigga. So with Naruto saying that statement, she got embarrassed and slapped his ass. Naruto, keep your mouth shut. A big ass explosion went off and they start booking it towards the village and come to find out it's getting attacked by sky ninjas. Amaru going around looking for some people that's still alive in the fire then come to realize she was finna get hit by kunais. She don't have to step in and take the hit for her. Bro got all these kunais in him and he's still moving in slow motion and smiling like bruh you are not in the edit just die already. Uh, Amaru is over you gotta carry on find the villagers and make sure everyone is safe. Work with our new niggas. <coughs> you can't die. You only had 30 minutes of screen time. Ooh. Damn. Why it took so long for that nigga to die? So with the doctor's death, Amaru is screaming with so much rage and hatred, bro. She spawned out the Zero Tails. And Naruto and Sakura are like, the f*** is this? So Sakura pull up on the Zero Tails trying to punch it. She got knocked <laughs> away and she was rolling all on the ground. And they knew exactly what they was doing with this camera angle. Now, I'm be honest, they should have kept this shit up. We would have liked Sakura way more if we would saw more of that. Man, the Zero Tail so cold, it got the Nine Tails tweaking. What's going on? Man, let me zoom in on this right quick. Sakura, how you slumped out the one hit? 
the hell? That's when Naruto sprout out the three tails. They start bumping like demons for real. They throwing <laughs> hands and shit. Then Naruto got mad to pull out the four tail. Bro, it's not playing. So Naruto force tail started tearing her ass up. I know damn well this shit would have went on some more. She would have got fucked up for real. But Naruto still came out of his chest. He's like, oh shit. I said I'll say Sasuke in my own power. What does Sasuke got to do with this situation? So Naruto started talking to Juice her saying, hey. Ain't you gonna save your villagers? Don't let your crush death be in vain, huh? He calms her down and she goes slump. And the words didn't really mean none because the next shot, this dude is alive. And he do some jutsu to make some bullshit happen. So Naruto holding Sakura in his arms saying, I'm glad you're okay. He really should be mad at her because how you get one hit and you out of the fight? And he got that rear stir going on. I know Sakura slapped him because she knew it was finna work on her. She was finna fold. So Amaru saying she gotta go help her villagers. And Sakura like, I can't let you go in this condition you're in. But Naruto saying, man, she'll be alright. Let's go do this shit. And Sakura's like, I'll go give this info to the Leaf Village. Bro, they are still dealing with these Sky Ninjas, bro. How long do it take for y'all to kill some fodder niggas? Like, bro, what is going on? Shino came here to remind everybody why he's a goat, because, bro, murked the whole squad with just bugs. So, Naruto and Amaru going through this whole thing trying to get rid of these Sky Ninjas, and then that one mega jump a nigga no Jusu as he jumped some niggas. So, that's when they pull up in his room and find out Dr. Shion was alive this whole time. So, Amaru runs and runs to his arms, hugging him and shit, saying, I'm glad you were alive. I knew you were alive. So Naruto walking in, bro looking kinda mad, cause like, bro, why you pretending you was dead? You kinda sus right now. Naruto asking, what you doing in here? Ain't you on our side? And then bro's like, it was easy to fool Sakura and Nata thinking I was dead with my body activation jutsu. And Naruto's like, what type of freaky shit you on? That's when bro reveals his whole plan was to absorb the Zero Tails and control the dark chakra it has. Then he yeets Amaru towards Naruto, and Amaru's like, bro, he's not active right, can we fix him? That's when bro started talking shit and making Amaru scared and where Amaru's fear all the way skyrocketed that's when he get more powerful with the body activation and the dark chakra. That's when Naruto said I'ma fix him with these hands and pull up on the dude but then he just set up a shockwave and look how they got Naruto body slumped against the wall like that bruh. That's when bro start powering up like he broly or some shit and I'm just like Naruto this would be the perfect time to pop Karama. I don't care what you said about using your own power, you need this right now. So Naruto run up with a mega jumping nigga no jutsu and bro start soloing Naruto and all his clones right now. Then he start ragdolling Naruto like bro, I cannot watch this. Look how he got his body flailing in the air like this. Karama, help this man, please. So bro must not know Naruto name cause bro sit down thinking the fight's over and Naruto stood right back up. So Naruto pop a super mega jump a nigga no jutsu and bro blink all that stuff away with dark chakra. This nigga is not Jiren. Then Naruto headbutt him again on top of him and start punching him and bro is showing no reaction. Naruto go ahead pack your bags and go home right now. What made it worse is he hit him with a racine gun then walk up to Amaru saying hey you good? Bro the fight's not over bro is still standing. So bro teleport behind Naruto, charge up a big black ball, and I know this shit had to hurt cause they cut the camera, you didn't even get to see it. And you come back, Naruto crawling the throne, bro is limping right now, and bro walking I up like behind it. him like, Naruto yeah, get up, this does not look yeah, right. Can... That's when he grabbed Naruto by the hair like this, disrespectful as hell, and that's when the clone come behind gotcha, him and hit him, and then he no, knee Naruto up in the air, they hit him back down to the ground, bro is on demon time. So bro start beating Naruto's ass for real, knock him away, Naruto get up and run and do a punch, and that shit did no damage. And he peacefully and slowly move his hand away from his face and make it so this dude cannot run away. This is disrespectful as hell. So that when bro knocked Naruto back telling him that humans got more stronger but it wasn't surely the power of love. Love ain't gonna do nothing. So Naruto stand up telling him straight up, all my niggas, they fight with me and I love all my niggas. And then he run up on him and get knocked back again. Like Naruto, you need to hold on to your statements now. So that when bro saying, love ain't gonna do nothing. Where did Amaru love get you? You get your asshole right now. So then Amaru looking and she saying, damn, it's all my fault. And she started crying and girl tried to kill herself. Naruto had to stop her. So that's when Naruto tell her straight up, hey, it's time to say goodbye. Go ahead and confess your love to this nigga. So did you tell him she been in love with him and then bro started laughing in her f***ing face and that made Naruto mad. That's rule number one. You don't make fun of power of love and friendship from the MCs. Cause then bro started getting his ass whooped. Not like that, Not like that, Not like that. That's when Naruto power a clean ass Rasengan gun finna get the finishing blow. I'm hype as hell. But then here gun got knocked away. No. Who the hell did that? Sasuke. My, my nigga, what the hell you doing here? I ain't seen you in three years. You taking a nigga kills? What you doing here? I came here to stand on business for Orochimaru's sick ass and Kabuto lazy ass. Shion, you coming with me. Orochimaru needs you. Mm, you're fool. I'm gonna use my body activation jutsu and whoop your ass. Is that supposed to scare me, my nigga? Go ahead. Because I don't see nothing to be scared of, your bitch ass. Hey, Sasuke, chill, bruh. The more you beat his ass, the stronger he get, bro. He got a hack. Help me. Me. Yeah, my nigga, you ain't gonna be doing none of that shit. 
While you're distracted beating on to ass, I use my Chidori Sephul to f***ing disrupt your chakra. You ain't gonna be doing nothing no more. Wait, Sasuke, you was here this whole time? Nigga, why you ain't help me? Nigga, you got a whole nine tails to fuck. So broke a Sasuke the scroll and dipped, and without a second word, Sasuke went right after him. So Naruto tell Amaru, we finna go in this shit, me and Sasuke, you go save your villagers. So that when they follow Dr. Shion to this room, and he's all crazy talking about some, any chocolate you use in here will get a Zora for the power of the Zero Tails, and Naruto and Sasuke pull up talking about some, Chakra? My nigga, I don't need Chakra. I can throw these hands. Man, this nigga trying us, Naruto. Let's jump this nigga right quick. So that one bro absorbs the power of the Zero Tails and one shot all them Sky Ninja ships. I know Shikamaru mad. They spent the whole movie trying to beat him. He did it in one scene. So Naruto and Sasuke pull up on this nigga, but then he grab a hold of both of them. But Sasuke analyzes and he realized how to beat this man. And meanwhile, Lamaru trying to go through this prison cell and get these niggas free. And I see what been happening to Hinata the whole time. How did she get there? So Amaru stabs the power and then goes back to Sasuke and Naruto. And Sasuke realizes we gotta get him too much chakra what he can't handle. So Sasuke went to menace mode and Naruto saw a power of that nine tails chakra. It's game time now. So Naruto hit it with the tornado Racine gun. While they in the struggle, Sasuke come in with the Chidori shit. That shit was kinda lit, I ain't gonna lie. But then this dude coming out of the Zero Tails with this little slug-like form, and I'm like, bro, you ugly as hell. So bruh does a suicide thing where all these things spread out his body and start destroying everything. And Naruto's like, Sasuke, wait, it's Sasuke I just dipped on this nigga. Uh, so Amaru's saving the villagers, and Naruto come out talking about some, he finna destroy everything. And Amaru's like, I'm coming with you. And Naruto's like, nah, it's too dangerous, but she being stubborn. So Sasuke grabbed her and said, get your ass in that boat. So the boat started moving and some of these things were finna hit the boat, but Sasuke came in and cut him off. Bro still kinda good in there. I know he is. As Sasuke falling off, that's when Naruto say some shit, and to this day, we still don't know what was said. Can someone give us an answer? So Naruto turned this whole place to a rage room because bro started destroying everything. And everybody looking up at him like, damn, there he go. Let him do this shit. And he started falling out of the sky, so Amaru flew up in the sky and caught this man. And they falling down to the ground. I'm like, bro, who finna save y'all? And I know Naruto feel good laying against some titties. So Sasuke looking at them saying, oh, man, I knew they will be alright. Then he just dipped. And that one, they land on Gamabunta because Jiraiya summoned them. And I know Jiraiya mad because why he only got one appearance in the movie and it's at the end of the movie. And Sakura come up mad talking about something. You always so reckless and stuff. And I'm like, girl, get off this man nuts. He just saved everybody. I see. You went and retrieved the scroll. I expected nothing less from you, Sasuke Uchiha. Mmm, -hmm, you don't have nothing to say to me. Next time y'all need something done, tell Kabuto lazy ass to do it.